there's something in the basement. Nuke's Top 5 viewer Oliver reached out to me about a video he captured in his home in Twin Falls, Idaho. In his email, Oliver says that he recorded a video for his friends with plans to hold a sleepover that same night. In his video, he shows his basement and where he and his friends will be sleeping. But what happens next is literally like something from a nightmare. As Oliver looks inside the bedroom, he sees a tall dark figure standing inside the room. Startled by the creepy apparition, Oliver stumbles back before turning on the lights and taking another look. But whatever was standing there seems to have just disappeared. What makes this footage even creepier is that when slowed down, it becomes clear that whoever or whatever this is seems to be wearing a hat. So if you don't know, Across the world, countless people have reported seeing a being known as the quote, Hat Man. Although some claim to have seen the apparition while fully awake, the Hat Man is known to terrorize victims of sleep paralysis. I asked Oliver if he had ever experienced sleep paralysis in his life, and he explained that he actually did, but only when he was a child. So could Oliver have actually captured proof of the Hat Man's existence? Let me know what you think out of the mud. Earlier this year, the usually sunny town of Chosica, Peru suffered heavy rains and mudslides that washed through the city. The national news reported on the severe damage left behind and talked to residents who have come together to clean and rebuild the city. But there is something else in this news report that seems a bit out of place and downright creepy. Desde el asentamiento humano Santo Domingo, Comité 6. Mira la escalera, ¿cómo podría bajar aquí? Una persona, un anciano, los niños, ¿cómo podrían bajar? Mira. Did you see it? While the reporter is showing the water and mud rushing down the stairs, behind her, someone or something completely covered in mud appears to follow her. The reporter doesn't notice the bizarre figure and continues up the stairs as she finishes her report. The footage goes viral with many shocked viewers speculating the figure to be some kind of creature or monster. Either way, whoever or whatever it is seems to not be wearing any clothes, have any hair, and seems to have distorted features. Obviously, it seems like any normal person fighting through these conditions would be at severe risk of being washed away in the flood, or at the very least becoming very sick from the muddy, bacteria-filled water. So just who or what is this? Let me know what you think. Eye of the Gen. This next creepy video was posted to TikTok without a source. Some people speculate that the original creator is none other than popular Jordanian ghost hunter Ehab Kasmia, who I featured many times. But I've been unable to find the original video, so I can't verify. However, the short video is definitely very creepy. Listen. 
A face can be seen staring through the crack of the door at whoever is filming. They quickly run around the door, but there's no one there. Some believe the face to be that of a djinn, a shape-shifting sinister entity that seems to be toying with the explorer. Now, without the original source and video, we just don't know exactly what's going on here. Is it a djinn caught on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. We need scary videos, so if you see something that you think should be on Nukes Top 5, be sure to email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Email link in the description. Paranormal Nightmare Paranormal investigators and brothers Josh and Sean Foreman from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series are contacted by a woman named Cheryl. Cheryl believes a demon is destroying her life. In a tragic series of events, Cheryl's father passed away, and not long after, her fiancé sadly took the lives of both of her children. Cheryl is now completely alone and lives in absolutely horrible conditions in a very bad neighborhood. In 17 years, Josh and Sean say that they've never encountered a case as tragic and dangerous as this. The brothers even feel that their own personal safety could be at risk in this investigation. But nevertheless, they drive to Cheryl's home to investigate. The guys soon begin to understand exactly why Cheryl believes that she might be dealing with a demon. I hate God. I hate God. Holy It said, I hate God. Why do you hate God? God is going to destroy you tonight. Where are you at right now? Are you watching us? Worthless b Worthless b Who's a worthless Come on, tell me who's a worthless I think you're worthless. Possessed. Possessed. Oh, oh no my. way. That's crazy. Possessed, that's what we want. Oh, something, 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 turn on, go out there, go. Something turned on out there. Is that what you want to do to Cheryl? Are you wanting to possess her? Is that what you're trying to do? Whoa, air. Something just blew on my neck. Here, you stand on here, screw this. Yeah, something just blew on my freaking neck. Oh. Right there. What was it? Something just grabbed my fucking hip. I did not hit anything. Like right, right when I walked by, something just grabbed hold of my hip. The two brothers received very ominous replies through their spirit box, and Josh says something grabbed his hip. Sean begins to feel a pain in his stomach and takes a break outside in the car while Josh stays behind. Please listen. Loud bang. Said, please listen, and then a huge freaking bang back there. Okay, that's three times. Three times I've been touched. Why? Why are you touching me? I mean, these are not just like little touches. These are big fucking touches. While Josh is completely alone, he hears two loud bangs coming from somewhere inside Cheryl's home after which he is touched again. After a short break, the two brothers switch places and whatever seems to be inside Cheryl's home seems to get very angry. Go to hell, Sean. Holy f f you. F you. All oh, you're a f you. Oh my God, I'm not going to hell. You are, you're going back where you came from. Holy shit, this is where I need fucking Josh. Oh my god. Yeah, well, I'd say we're definitely dealing with a freaking demon. To end their investigation, they ask Cheryl to sit in the house alone and attempt to communicate with what they now believe to be a demon. Josh and Sean sit outside in the car. What happens next scares the living shit out of them. <laughs> Wolf! Oh! 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 Wolf!
fucking me. Oh, running. There was a huge fucking black shadow right next to the fucking window. I looked over and there was a huge fucking black shadow right there next to the fucking window. Holy fuck, let's just get the out of here. Look at this. A strange, unexplained dark mass hits the car window, giving Sean the jump scare of a lifetime. And with that, the Paranormal Nightmare Brothers have had enough. They cleanse the home and leave. Since the investigation, Cheryl says that she has no longer had any paranormal or demonic trouble in her home or in her life. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV Series. A ghostly gift. Cassie O'Malley from Lamont, Illinois loves monkeys. So when one day she receives a monkey doll as a gift, she's absolutely thrilled. That is, until she opens the box. Oh my fucking god, I swear to god, this thing just fucking looked at me, oh my For a split second, the creepy monkey doll seems to look directly at Cassie. Oh my fucking god, I swear to god, this thing just fucking looked at me, oh my Cassie says she's tried everything to debunk what she captured on camera, but she hasn't found anything to explain it. After this recording, the doll hasn't stirred up any trouble. So for now, Cassie is keeping the creepy little monkey doll proudly on display in her home. But what would you do with a gift if it did this? Let me know down in the comments. Oh my fucking God, I swear to God, this thing just fucking looked at me, oh my. Not home alone. Now, unfortunately, like a lot of videos these days, this next video was shared to the internet without a source. The video shows a woman alone at her home, which is said to be somewhere in Mexico. The woman says that she's been experiencing disturbing, unexplained activity in her home. Bien, bien, bien. Ahí se ve algo. Ay, Dios. Yo realmente estoy solo. Bien. Está completamente solo. Solo estoy yo. No se puede admitir nadie. De... Aquí por la puerta. No, realmente estoy solo. Y debajo de la cama, de hecho, el espacio es muy... Bien. Si pueden ver, yo estoy solo. No hay nada, no hay nadie. En casa. No hay nadie. De hecho, hace días yo compré este troll porque se supone que aleja toda energía negativa. A shadow appears through the glass of the closed door of the woman's bedroom. But when she looks, there's no one in the room. Suddenly the figure appears again, but this time outside of the bedroom. Again, the woman hurries out to search her home, but again, she finds nothing and no one to explain the creepy shadow. Unfortunately, without a source, we can only guess what happened to the woman and her creepy shadow visitor. So after many requests and eight months later, Nukes Top 5 merch is back. We've got shirts, we've got hoodies, we've got coffee mugs, we've got stuff for your dog, we've got stuff for your cat. We've got stuff you probably never even wanted to begin with, but nevertheless, we've got it. So be sure to check out the all new merch store at nukestop5.com. Tunnel of Death. Paranormal investigator Kuro from the YouTube channel Black Story is contacted by a man named Takun about an allegedly haunted abandoned tunnel near where he lives in Wakayama Prefecture, Japan. The tunnel was constructed in the late 1800s and has become infamous for its countless suspicious deadly accidents. Witnesses driving through the tunnel have reported seeing another car with the pale apparitions of a man and woman in the front seat. These apparitions are said to haunt you for the rest of your life if you look them in the eyes. 
Another local ghost tale says that a woman passed away in a tragic accident in the tunnel. It is said that her spirit appears on the tunnel road, dressed all in white. Kuro meets up with Takun, and even though it's storming, they decide to investigate the tunnel together. Because of the bad storm, Takun waits in the car while Kuro explores the tunnel in search of paranormal proof. But strangely enough, it's Takun who's all alone in the car who experiences something truly bizarre. A soft female voice can just barely be heard, and in Japanese, the voice seems to whisper, Kairu, which translates to go home. Meanwhile, Kuro is all alone somewhere in the middle of the tunnel, and he too experiences something he just can't explain. Now it's not audible because of the loud storm, but Kuro swears that he heard a voice and footsteps loud enough to send him running back to the car. What makes this even creepier is that Kuro did in fact catch something on camera not long before he hears the voice and footsteps. But it isn't until he's home that he realizes what he captured. And it's absolutely chilling. This is the footage. A pale, disfigured face of what looks like a woman can be seen right behind Kuro and the investigator doesn't see or hear anything. When reviewing his own footage, Kuro wonders if he caught the spirit of the woman who passed away in an accident on camera, and whether she was the one warning them to go home. Kuro says that this is the most terrifying proof of the paranormal that he's ever captured. But what do you think happened here? Let me know down in the comments. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Black Story. Caught live on camera. Popular TikTok creator Millie George is doing her makeup one night when she decides to go live to chat to her followers. It's late at night and she's home all by herself when her viewers spot something in the background that shocks her to her core. Yeah. Okay, so on the live, so that, right, one minute I'm doing my makeup in the mirror, like 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 this, like literally doing nothing, and then that everyone's like, oh, someone just walked in your house, someone just walked in your house, and I was like, stop winding me up, no one's walked in my house, like stop winding me up, and then I walked over to the back door. Yeah. I'll show you the back door now. Look. All right. I walked over to the back door. Yeah. So this is how the camera works. The camera was like this in yeah. my house, and you can see the back door there. Yeah. There's a reflection there. Because yeah. I have an automatic sensor when you walk out my back door that the back door light comes on. Yeah. Oh, I've just locked the door again. So like, look, and you can see everything in the garden. Okay? Yeah. I'm locking the fucking door. Right, I'm now going to show you the CCTV footage on my phone from my fucking live. That's CCTV footage? From the live. I've got it downloaded. I downloaded the live. What of, of, and what was you supposed to have seen? Someone else? This was five nights ago, by the way. Yeah, no, yeah. look, look, look. Okay, so, all right. Let yeah, me I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm watching. Right, the door opens. Wait. 
I'm gonna zoom in. Oh no way! How did your door open? It's glass. You can see through the door. Look. There's oh, no one there. You're joking. Bro, this is some. This is like the ring. And then no. look, it gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse, mate. I don't know what to do. I'm just actually shitting myself. Look. Oh my god, you're joking. You're lying. No way. <laughs> you look at the fing head. No, you've edited that. You have to have edited that. How have I edited it? It's come up with a little Chinese kid in there. And then I then walk over. At this point, I then walk in. I walk over to the door because everyone was saying there's someone behind me. And this doesn't show on the light. It's been cut. And I'm straight outside again. So it's like the camera stopped working. Bro, why is there a Chinese ghost in your yard, bro? Shocked by what she's seen, Millie shows her friend Tommy what was captured on her live broadcast. She shows that she was facing a wall during her live stream and didn't have eyes on the back door. The door seems to open by itself, and Millie's motion sensing back door light just doesn't turn on for some reason. Then, creepiest of all, a little girl who Millie has never seen before can be seen just walking through the house. Millie claims that she was home all alone that night and has no idea who or what this is. So what do you think? Is this a real ghost caught on camera or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. San Haven Sanatorium. In the early 1900s, the San Haven Sanatorium in North Dakota opened its doors as a treatment center for tuberculosis patients. In later years, the sanatorium became a mental asylum. But the San Haven Sanatorium soon gained a reputation for horrible mistreatment of patients. The hospital was forced to close in the 1980s. It is estimated that over a thousand people have lost their lives inside these walls including a 17-year-old boy who fell down an elevator shaft in 2001. In a tragically ironic twist, the boy was actually on a ghost hunt in the building at the time. The abandoned structure is falling apart and it's fairly dangerous to wander around inside. A paranormal investigator Ian from the popular YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter is determined to explore the sanatorium in hopes of capturing evidence of the paranormal. It's late at night as Ian begins his investigation. Things almost immediately start to get weird. What's that sound? Okay, those were footsteps. Oh, shit. Damn, these stairs. Oh. Ian is a bit shaken up by the strange unexplained footsteps, but he tries to keep calm as he continues to explore. Okay, as creepy as that was, I did feel a gust of wind when that happened, and I'm pretty sure that's what it was. See, look at that. See? Holy shit. <laughs> Still creepy as hell. A door creepily opens by itself, but Ian is quick to point out it was just the wind. However, then Ian starts to hear odd noises from somewhere nearby. He goes to check it out, and something happens that he simply can't explain. Something truly chilling. Hello? Whoa, what was that? Dude, I think I just saw something. Could you appear like that again? Oh my 
god, dude, it is cold over here. <gasps> oh my god, it just went into that room! Dude, it just flew into here. What the? Dude, that was crazy. I just saw you. Did you just go into this room? I need to go in there now. Sound like a woman talking in here. Dude, that was so crazy. I heard that with my own ears. Ma'am? Could you speak again? I think I just heard you. Okay, you really spooked me there. I did not expect that. Did you just knock on a wall? Could you knock on it again? She is communicating with me right now. Ian is excited about what he's just captured and he believes a spirit is trying to communicate with him. But as he continues to explore, something happens that quickly turns his excitement into pure terror. Hello? Oh my god. Oh, okay. oh god. Dude. The investigator is shaken up by a disturbing plea for help, especially since he's near the elevator shaft where 22 years ago, another ghost hunter fell to his death. But Ian is determined to capture more paranormal evidence, so he continues to explore the creepy abandoned hallways and rooms. Eventually, he decides to take some photos down one of the long hallways, and things start to get creepy. I think I might try to take pictures down this hallway. A lot of people say they see shadow figures. Basically in all areas of this place. I'm hoping to catch one in a photo. If there's anybody down this hallway could you appear for me? Oh. What the? F what was that? It sounded like a breath. Oh. 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 Was that you? is all around me right now. Whoa, I think I got something on here. Dude, that was like a figure. Oh my God, and it's gone. Dude, I just caught something. It was by that window. Holy shit. Dude, that was crazy. I just got like a photo. Holy crap. Are you standing by this window? Holy crap. That was so freaking cool. 
Could you appear again? <gasps> Whoa, dude! I just got that in the freaking camera! Holy crap! A disturbing white figure appears in a photo, and then Ian catches a bizarre white mist on camera in the exact same window. So did Ian capture evidence of the paranormal? Could the ghostly coughing, pleas for help, and the unexplained apparitions belong to the patients that died in the sanatorium? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation with even more bizarre paranormal moments over on the YouTube channel Midwest Ghost Hunter. From above, a security camera in San Vicente, Chicaloapan, Mexico, captures something very strange in the middle of the night. strange figure seems to float down from the sky, frightening a pack of dogs as it makes its way across a parking lot, and then it almost seems to change into an odd black figure. The footage went viral with many viewers wondering just what this bizarre shape could possibly be. Some speculated that it might be something paranormal, or possibly even something alien. But just what do you think it is? Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, do it now and then also turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. You can also follow me on the socials and just say uh, hi there, Nuke. Anyway, hopefully I will see you next video.